Hi, Will Brooks, Sales Director at Spectrami in the UK with my colleague Grant. Hi there. Today we're going to talk to you about these things, security certificates. Now, in today's world of, world of IT, as people move more and more services to the cloud, as security becomes a bigger um, part of somebody's remit and, and ever more stories about cyber problems where, where data has been stolen, hacked, etc. Um, security certificates and managing access and securing access is, is, is an always important issue. Um, and as we have more devices, it becomes a bigger problem, right? Yeah, I, th I think the bottom line is, you know, as we're using services across different locations, um, we need to know that those services are genuine, um, that imposters aren't getting in, offering services to the users in the organisation as genuine. Um, and in order to ensure that genuity, then we need a certificate. Yeah, and as organisations have more complex environments, the more complex, the more certificates, the more places to deploy those certificates. And if we get it wrong and that certificate expires, yep. um, we have a problem. We have a problem accessing. Uh, we can look unprofessional because people can't access our services. Um, Essentially, it's downtime, so it's loss of service, it's inconvenience to the user, or importantly, in an organisation that has commercial implications, um, it's denial of some kind of service um, to the outside world. And, yeah. and as you say, that doesn't look professional. And we're seeing more organisations having to dedicate resource and time and effort to to managing this as a problem. And um, we're fortunate enough to work with a vendor at VueX who have got a uh, got a solution to this. And we just want to talk to talk to you about that a little bit today. So um, let's let's sort of draw up some of the scenarios, and then maybe while I'm drawing it, Grant, you can you can talk about Absolutely. how, how yep. this would work. Good so. Idea. Um, there's been a movement to go to cloud, we know that. Um, Office 365, so people move their exchange out there and some of their SharePoint, some people looking to move that back. Regardless of that, you know, there, there's a certificate requirement in that environment. Absolutely, so what we are seeing is organizations that are moving originally, you know, perhaps going a couple of years back, they moved everything from on-premise exchange into the cloud using Office 365. Um, what we have been seeing over you know, recent years is perhaps some of those services may be moved back on premise again. Yeah. Perhaps they were too expensive to run everything in the cloud. Maybe an organization wanted to bring SharePoint in for some collaboration, um, working with documents, sharing documents with each other, and that plugs into the exchange infrastructure. So there's a need there to have certificates running on each one of these nodes, um, be it either local resource, if you've got Exchange on-prem or in the cloud, yeah. or the SharePoint infrastructure as well. So we could, you know, you're not gonna run your Exchange or, or your SharePoint just on one server, you can have multiple, and each one of those needs a certificate. Absolutely, so, you know, replication for Exchange, um, failover, disaster recovery, you may split across multiple data centers, you may have some resource in the cloud and some on-premise. Um, and all of these instances need to be certified so that if you send an email to someone, they know that it's from a genuine source. And if you receive an email, then it's ensuring that the email that you receive is sent to a bona fide user within the organization. Okay. So AppViewX will help you deploy, manage that certificate yep. from a central place onto all of those, those nodes. Yep. And that certificate could be one certificate for each instance. Um, more than likely though, if it's an organization that's a, a larger enterprise, they would have one certificate with multiple uses. So the same as we have licenses for software which is done on a per seat basis, you'd have a certificate which is done on a usage basis. Okay. So that's one place where this fits. Now people will be thinking, actually, yeah, I've got a couple of exchange servers, but I can, I can manage that myself. That's not too big a headache, got three servers, do that. But then we talk about uh, some of the networking equipment that we've oh, yeah. got. So um, I'm just going to draw draw a few here, but um, an organisation is going to have a number of load balancers, maybe. Yep. And as well as that, they're going to have um, have their firewalls. Absolutely, and then you've got all the services behind that. So behind a load balancer, perhaps you've got a, a farm of web servers that are, are serving out internally for intranet use, but also externally for internet users as well. And you know that is 100% of the corporate presence. Um, if I need to find out about a company, I don't look them up in the phone book anymore, I look at their website. So that website needs to be highly available. Okay, so we've just drawn out a few, yep. few appliances or servers there. Again, these all need that same that same key deploying. Absolutely, so we need to have an instance of the certificate on each one of those appliances, virtual or physical, 
on-premise or cloud-based, absolutely. Okay. So can you just touch on some of the benefits that we get from AppViewX and how that actually helps us to, to manage this environment? Yeah, so you can see there, you know, that there's, there's now quite a lot of infrastructure building up with all of these appliances, um, the, the services you've got for mail and collaboration. Um, it can be a nightmare to manage. Um, what happens when the license expires? That could happen on a yearly basis. So ensuring that my new license has been deployed to all of these virtual machines and all of these appliances in time, so there's no loss of service. I need to yeah. make sure that the new license is out there, ready to go before the expiry takes place. Also, if it's a multi-use license, is ensuring that there's enough uses left for the infrastructure uh, come deployment time. Um, and when I come to my renewals next year, it's looking at what I've used in the past year and making sure that I renew for the correct number of licenses. So there's some cost savings there as well. Okay. And I guess there's one more scenario that we need to perhaps talk about. And we've, we've spoken in previous videos about the emergence of DevOps uh, and these guys and, and fast releases of code and, and information. Um, and these guys are, are putting out software releases you know, many times a day in some scenarios. Yeah, so, so my DevOps guy is sat there, he's writing software for internal use within the organization. Um, let's say it's a financial organization, he's writing software to allow the traders to make as much money for that company as possible. Um, he revisits his software product on a daily basis, yeah. he tweaks it, he makes changes, um, and he publishes that out to the users within the organization on a frequent basis. Now, how do I make sure that the software that my DevOps guy is writing is correct? Yeah. How do I make sure it's bona fide? How do I make sure it's jumped through all the necessary certification hoops? We do that with a certificate. Okay. Um, and you know, it ensures that the software that's being deployed runs on the device. Um, if it's not certified, it doesn't run. Um, and going back a step, actually, it's ensuring that it can be installed on the device. Um, so group policy on desktop devices now, a lot of group policies will be looking for a certificate before the installation will be allowed. Yeah. Without the certificate, then you don't get the installation to work properly. Okay. So AppViewX and their certificate management is a, is a fantastic uh, addition to, uh, to organizations to help them simplify their environment, make them more secure, yep. uh, and maintain uptime. So if you want to learn more, then please get in touch with us here at Spectrum in the UK. Thank you.